लेखा देवकर वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन देशभक्त अनन्या प्रवीणराव नायक कॉलेज चिखली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लाइफ सायकल ऑफ द पक्षीनिया पक्षीनिया इज फंगस ऑलवेज ऑकर्स ऑन द लीव्स ऑकर्स ऑन द प्लांट इट प्रोड्यूसेस बैसिडोस स्पोर्स एज अ प्रोमिनेंट स्पोर्स हिज इट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द बैसिडो माइटोफिला दिस पक्षीनिया produces the rust disease on the main crops such as wheat and jowar it completes its life cycle with the help of two hosts primary hosts are main crops such as wheat and jowar while secondary host is barberry plant it is weed plant on primary host it produces brown colored patches or pistils on the leaf surface which occurs as a rusting and hence that disease is called as a rust disease on primary host pachinia completes its life cycle with the help of uredial stage and tegial stage in uredial stage the urediospores are produced these urediospores are orange in color and they are unicellular unilayer bimutilated spores they appear as a bracket shaped structure the head of the spore is spherical it is composed of cell wall and inner cellular content the cell wall is made up of exhyme and entire exhyme is spiny ornamented while entire is smooth inside this two haploid nuclei are present along with the cytoplasm at equatorial region it produces four germ pores so this is the structure of the uredospore this uredospore when occurs in the group and uh, they came outside by the roughening epidermis of the leaf that structure is called as a uredial pistil this uredial pistil is orange in color then after maturation of the uredospore they are liberated outside and get germinated germ to came out from the germ pores and <coughs> when these uredospores are came in contact with the leaf of primary host in favorable climatic condition it get germinate and produces the tilial stage in tilial stage the tilial tilitospores are produced by tilial pistil this tilial pistil is brown to black in color then this tilial pistil shows presence of the tilitospores these tilitospores are spindle shaped structure having the cell wall inside this cell wall there is presence of two separated cells so these spores are bicellular uninucleated and diploid in nature it shows presence of the two germ pores one is present at the tip while another is present near to the partition wall when these tilitospores are present or occurs in the group and came outside by rustling the host epidermis it is called as a tilial pistil so this uredial pistil as well as tilial pistil are present on the leaf of the primary host this is the life cycle of the pachinia completed on primary host after maturation of the tiliospores this tiliospores liberated from the tilial pistil as they are light in weight they slowly settle on the soil and in that soil the tilial pistil tiliospores get germinated and produces the basidial stage in this basidial stage the tilial pistil get germinate and produces the germ tube that germ tube came outside through this germ pores that structure is called as a epibasidium on this epibasidium basidial spores are developed these basidial spores are <coughs> spherical unicellular and uninucleated haploid spores so this is the basidial stage 
the basidial spores are unicellular uninucleated and haploid in nature each epibasidium produces four basidial spores out of that two are with positive stem and two are for negative stem this is the basidial stage developed in the soil after development or after maturation of the basidial spores this basidial spores again came in contact with the secondary host barberry plant barberry plant is a weed plant present on the buds of the field in absence of the primary host so basidial spores came in contact with the secondary host it get germinate and produces the pycnial stage in this pycnial stage at upper surface of the barberry leaf the basidial spore get germinate and produces the pycnial cup this pycnial cup is the specific structure in which there is presence of cup like structure inside which pycnial spores are developed and at the tip of the pycnial cup the branch of mycelia are present they are called as a receptive hyphae the receptive hyphae and pycnial spores are important structures in the pycnidium or pycnial stage positive pycnial spore positive basidial spore get germinate and produces the positive pycnial spore and positive receptive hyphae while negative basidial spore get germinate and produces the negative pycnidium as well as negative pycnial spores and negative receptive hyphae so this is positive uh, pycnidium and this one is negative pycnidium when it get mature it secrete the sticky substance this sticky substance has specific smell and specific taste with that help of the taste and smell many insect attracted towards the mature pycnidium for sucking this pycn uh, honey like substance when this insect visit on uh, the negative pycnidia that time negative pycnial spores are attached to the mouth part of that insect same insect visited to the positive pycnidium that time it sat on the receptive hyphae and suck the honey like substance or sticky substance from the pycnidium that time the negative pycnial spores are attracted by the positive receptive hyphae and positive pycnial spores are attracted by the negative receptive hyphae so with the help of attraction the pycnial spores and receptive hyphae of opposite strain came in contact with the uh, uh, each other and there is the fertilization takes place or there is fusion of pycnial spore and receptive hyphae then this mycelium after uh, fusion of the receptive hyphae and pycnial spore the mycelium become dikaryotic this dikaryotic mycelium which is <coughs> grows towards the lower surface of the leaf and this dikaryotic mycelium produces the acidial stage at the lower surface of the barberry plant and when dikaryotic mycelium migrated or grows towards the lower surface of the leaf it is converted into cup like structure this cup like structure is called as a acium or acidial cup inside which there is development of the acyospores these acyospores are hexagonal unicellular and binucleated they are developed in a chain <coughs> the basal cell shows presence of the mature sorry uh, basal cell shows younger acyospores while tip region shows mature acyospore in between two acyospore there is presence of a sticky or a uh, smooth region called as a intercalary cells that intercalary cells are very important 
for the separation of the mature SO spore. When this mature SO spore uh, is liberated from this chain due to the drying of intercalary cell, it is separated from the chain and then it came in contact with the air. After that, SO spore <coughs> came in contact with the primary host. And it is responsible for the development of the uradial stage. So here we complete the life cycle of oxygen. Thank you.